I mean, yeah, I just felt like um, did a pretty good job of, uh, you know, getting the ball to you know DJ and spreading the ball around and you know protecting myself when I did run the ball and take off. And um, what really just stood out is you know how we stood out as an offense and you know how just dominant we were all game. The O line did a great job protecting. Uh, you know, runners did a great job running the ball. Yeah, and I mean, you know, everybody was doing a job, and you know that's the that's what we want to focus on on offense. Just everybody doing a job and. Um, you know, all coming, to, all coming together to uh, collectively as one. You know, just trying to uh, put our best foot forward and you know try to put a point. So, yeah. Your first completion to DJ was kind of an extended play. You got out to the left and then kind of almost looked like you used your whole body to kind of create the throwing run. You just take us through the sequence there and, and kind of what you saw in that. Uh, yeah. So we got nickel pressure. So um, you know he had, uh, Deont- I think it was Deontay that was in the game at the time. But he did a good job of that. And um, you know. DJ was maybe the third read in that progression. And, um, yeah, just stepped up in the pocket, rolled out. And um, DJ is usually good at finding, you know, open zones and scramble drill, kind of like that. So, yeah, I mean, just rolled out to the left and saw him sitting right there and just gave him the ball. So, yeah. Justin, what did you think game against the Vikings and the pressure that they brought? How mm-hmm. can you make adjustments now knowing what to expect? Yeah, I mean, just, you know, being on, being on the same page. Uh, I felt like we made too many mental mistakes last time we played them. And, uh we're better than that. We're, we're better than what we put on tape that game. So um, putting our best foot forward, uh, making sure we're on our P's and Q's each and every play, locked in and, you know, getting the ball out fast when we need to, when they do bring that pressure. So uh, it's going to be key. And, of course, you know, when they do bring pressure, um, the O-line picking it up. So everything starts up front. And, uh, you know, once we get the protection and everything uh, together, then we'll be good. Going there. Jim, what do, you, what do you remember about the very first play of that game where I think you were empty? Yeah, cover zero. Um, I was about to throw it to KB, but um, I felt like the corner wasn't threatened by, you know, KB speed. You know, they every time you put a, uh, a running back, fullback, or a tight end out at number one over a corner, you know, he's not going to think you're going deep on him. So I just felt him sitting sitting on the route, so I didn't want to, you know, uh, potentially throw a pick on the first play of the game. But, you know, learning from that, I just got to sell it over his head and move on to second and ten. So, um, uh, yeah. Justin, what do you think of the officiating in that game? There were a couple of plays where Alex Anzalone it looked like uh, you were you weren't pleased with like how he was like. I mean, yeah, was, I mean that's just you know what the Lions do. Uh, they play hard. We knew that coming into uh, you know coming in that week that you know the kind of effort and uh, toughness and grit that they play with. You know their head coach is, preaches that. Um, so we kind of knew it was going to be that kind of game, but you know I was just talking to the ref and just asked like telling him like yo just watch out like heads up for a you know, late hit or something like that. But um, I guess I didn't get any, so keep playing ball and, you know, control what I can control. So, yeah. How does the th- thumb feel, Justin? Thumb feels solid. It feels good. Was it sore at all after the game? It was a little bit sore. It was a little bit sore, but um, it got me through. But um, you know, I'll be good to go. Tape again, you think, or anything on Monday? Yeah, I'll probably tape the rest of the year just to be safe with it. So, yeah. Justin, the, the, the Vikings pressure, how does it – challenge you in terms of being outside the pocket? Is it, did they make it more difficult for you than other teams would to try to move around a little bit? Um, if they bring all out, yeah. I mean, you really don't have anywhere to go because you got, you know, you're you're outnumbered in protection. So, um, you know, that's when you got to get the ball out quick. So that's how you combat that. But, yeah, when they bring their all out, cover zero pressure, then, I mean, yeah, you're not going to, unless you just completely out athlete, you know, the DN, set them up somewhere, one way or the other. But um, not really looking – you know, cover zero, that's not really the answer to beat that is try to scramble and stuff around. You just want to get the ball out quick and, um, you know, let the playmakers make plays and work for you. So, yeah. As disappointing as it was in Detroit, are you excited to have a primetime opportunity to kind of show that that's not who you guys are? Uh, I think for the most part, we, we showed we were, you know, except until the end of the game. But, um, you know, focus on finishing better and, you know, uh, finishing out the game when it, when it counts and, you know, when a drive comes up, um, you know, making that big play when it matters. But, um, I mean, yeah, we're definitely excited for this opportunity. Um, you know, the Vikings, have, they've been playing, you know, great this fast past few weeks. So, um, definitely excited for the opportunity we, we get to have on Monday night and um, get to go out there and ball up. So, yeah. Focusing on finishing better, what does that mean to you personally? Um, you know, just doing all I can to, uh, you know, make the team successful. So, whatever that, you know, uh, includes, you know, what whatever play call we have, um, just, you know, doing that play call, focusing on, on that play call operation. I mean, there's a lot of things, you know, quarterback has to you know, do a lot of things in terms of, you know, um, you know motion landmarks, um, mechanics in the two minute drill. So um, third and down protection and stuff like that. So it's numerous things that I can name off, but, you know, just, just doing my job and, you know, um, 
doing it to the best I can when it matters. So, yeah. Daniil Hunter has obviously been a great player for a long time, but he's having an exceptional year this year. Mm -hmm. When you look at him this season, what do you see? Yeah, I mean, he's a he's a uh, freak athlete on the, on the edge, and just like you said, I mean, he's he's been doing his thing this year. He's been balling out this year, so I uh, definitely got to have a plan for him and, um, you know, um, just making sure we know where he is at all times. But um, like you said, he's been, I don't know what he did differently, you know, this year than he did last year, but he's been playing exceptionally well uh, this year. So, um, you know, like I said, we'll we'll have a plan for him and go on from there. Justin, on the, on the touchdown to DJ, you mentioned after the game that obviously you missed a, a similar throw in the same direction, same end zone to him. Mm -hmm. Did that play into the, the throw you made there, whether mentally or physically, in just terms of like I, I overcooked the first one or, or did the first miss kind of help you? Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, I kind of when I when it left my hand, I kind of knew it was going to be a little bit, you know, overthrown a little bit, like a yard, like two yards overthrown. So, um, you know, I just told DJ like I'm not like if we come back to that play, I'm not going to miss you again. So be ready for it, and you know, happen. So uh, we hit it and touchdown. So how good is it to get a second opportunity at that? Moment? I mean, it feels good. It feels good. Um, you know, whenever you you know you know miss a throw at the beginning of the game and get an opportunity later in the game to come back and hit it for a touchdown or a big play. I mean, it, it, it feels good. But, of course, you know, me, I wanted to hit the first one too. But um, can't get them all. But, um, no, definitely felt good. Um, like I said, uh, O-line protected well pretty much all game. And, um, you know, he ran a great route. And, yeah, it was a touchdown. So, great execution by everybody. Where does that, where does that pass rank on your favorite throws this year? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't really rank my favorite passes to be honest with you. So, uh, but it's 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 probably up there. I mean, it was a it was a pretty good throw. So, yeah. He said he was impressed just with the way that you know when you're making your connections downfield, you're keep, you're scanning, and then before you get to the line, like being able to have that sort of vision downfield to see guys as you're moving. Do you feel like that's an area you've improved in this season? Um, I mean, to be honest, I feel like deep balls, just in general, I feel like that's kind of. What I do best, to be honest with you, I think I throw the ball uh, down the field exceptionally. I feel like you know it's, it's it's one of my strengths, and you know I've been doing it since you know high school, college. So um, you know I think it's one thing that I do best, and um, you know one thing that I think we're gonna get, keep uh, you know doing, and you know get to more. So yeah. Justin oh, Tyler Scott had a little bit of a tough game. How important is it uh, for you, from your <coughs> your vantage point to keep him involved and make sure that he has tangible evidence that you know. That you and the offense has faith in him. You know, I mean, he knows. I mean, the relationship. I mean, one play is not gonna. One game is not going to define if I go back to him. Like to be to be honest with you, like I don't. I don't. I don't care if you keep dropping the ball, like because you know everybody. We have our own individual responsibility to you know help this team you know be successful. So if the receiver's open, I'm gonna throw him the ball, and you know if he drops it, you know it's his responsibility to catch the ball. You know that's his job. He's good. he gets paid to do that. So um, yeah, I'm not losing faith in him. I don't one game, two games, however many games, I'm gonna keep going back to him. You know, he's a he's gonna be a, a great receiver. You know, he has a lot of room to grow and, you know, he's talented even now. Um he's made a lot of plays for us this year. It's offense special teams and you know he's a speedster so not many DBs can keep up with him. But um uh, I mean yeah, so well that one game, whatever it was, you know, I mean he had a tough game, but I mean we've we've all had tough games. You know, as a football player you you have tough games. I've had a lot of tough games, so um, you know, it does nothing but you know, make me better, make him better. At the end of the day, and you know, he's a hard worker. He's not gonna let one, two, three games define who he is as a player. So um, you know, I have full faith in Tyler. Everybody else does too. So um, yeah. If you played Sunday, if you were playing a Sunday game, you know, Saturday clear to watch Michigan Ohio State. Mm -hmm. You got to practice. Yeah. So how do you handle it? <laughs> do you? No, after practice, I'll be rushing back in to see what the score is. So. You don't ask, like, hey, don't tell me anything. I want to watch it in full later in the day. Uh, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to we'll start it from the first quarter. I'm going to just check in on the uh, score and uh, continue to watch where, it, where it's from and, you know, catch the highlights later. But I'm not. I'm not that crazy to where I'm going <laughs> to make sure I don't watch the game and then come back and I watch from the first quarter. But um, I know some people that, that are like that, though. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm just going to come back in after practice, uh, check the score, and um, watch the rest of the game. So, yeah. You got a prediction? Uh, I do. i got to go with my uh, Buckeyes for sure. Um, I think it's going to be a close one. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. Uh, well, not low, but middle. So, I, I, I see a score like – Mm, I'd like us to win 24 to 14.
14 or 24, 17-ish around that area. So, um, yeah. Do you have an opinion on the Harbaugh scandal? 